Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt, also known as the Ammo Nerd, and we have an ammunition review today in my favorite caliber 556 NATO or 556 by 45 millimeters or 223 Remington. This is our Privy Partisan or PPU M193. This is actually quote unquote military surplus from Sam at SG Ammo. This is a 2015 lot that he picked up, I think like a million rounds or something like that, and has this as well as our 762 NATO for sale. Not sure if it will be for sale by the time I get this video out, but let's throw this guy on the table and talk about what we're going to do today. For our 556 testing, we have a wide variety of barrel lengths from seven and a half inches all the way up to and including 22. After we've collected our velocity and a general reliability, I think I have 180 rounds of this and it's military surplus and it's pretty partisan. And I don't think I'm having any reliability issues with it. We'll step out to around 100 yards to see what we can get for practical accuracy. We have our Procono Pal Digital DLX as always, as well as our Garmin Zero C1. I got that from Bass Pro Shop slash Cabela's. A big thank you to them for sending that out. We'll start all of our reviews off with our shortest barrel length. This is our seven and a half inch upper from Palmetto State Armory. I'm not much of one to recommend a seven and a half inch for anything other than range fund. There are certainly viable self-defense, personal protection loads for seven and a half inch uppers like M855A1, but I would rather add that three inches and have a 10 and a half inch or 11 inch AR and have a lot better ballistics, especially out to some range. Now onto our 10 and a half inch, again, another PSA build. This has the Sig Sauer budget Tango MSR up top. Very nice optic. I like the very clear glass and wide field of view on it. Oh, that's interesting. That was a light primer strike, folks. Now on to our 14 and a half inch. This is from Pro 2A Tactical on a PSA lower. This has been a very reliable upper receiver. Don't have any complaints about quality, fit, or finish on it. Now onto our 16 inch, this is new for range use and or testing. Our kel RDB, this is a bullpup. What's somewhat unique about this is it actually ejects brass down the bottom, kind of like a P90. So it is ambidextrous, so to speak. There is no left or right that you gotta worry about the brass coming out. You can change the charging handle up front. We've got the Gunner Odin 1 to 10 optic up front. This is a newcomer to the market, just started reviewing it. It is a first focal plane scope. Very, very nice. I like the turrets. The downside that I can think of right off the bat is probably the illumination. It's quote unquote daytime bright. And on the sixth setting during the day, it could be a little brighter. Nice. One thing I will say kel got right on this bullpup is the trigger. Probably one of the better bullpup triggers that I have handled. 
way better than the Springfield Hellion. 20 inch from Palmetto State Armory. This is the FN Premium setup. It's got the double chrome one and seven twist barrel. I forgot to bring the 22 inch today, but for all intents and purposes, our M193 spec is 3167 feet per second, 78 feet from the muzzle. So our chronograph, the light screen one is set up at 12 feet. So ideally we should see that plus right around to maybe 3200 feet per second. Our little Garmin here will give us a little more optimistic numbers. We were seeing numbers over 3,200 feet per second with this 20-inch. Very, very nice job, PPU. Brought out the 22-inch on a different day just so we have that data set. Very, very good jump in velocity off this load. I think if you were gonna pick up some M193, this is gonna be it, folks, right now. Here is our 2015 surplus PPU at 100 yards. We're using the Keltec RDB with a one to 10 first focal plane LVPO. We were doing a tracking test. Our very first group was 2.270 inches, and it's about three to four minutes between each group because I've walked down and checked. So our second group, 2.372 inches we shot that four shot group for some reason at 1.694 inches because i can't count our third group then opened up at 3.827 inches maybe because i'm adding a little bit of heat there and then this group 2.915 inches and then our last group which was to come back to zero was our best group 1.331 inches not too shabby if i do say so myself we also shot the tc compass on the same day 3.287 and 3.383 inches at 100 yards that's in the lead sled that's a 16 power first, first focal plane scope about 70 degrees outside today a little bit of wind so that's about par for the course. I would say above average with our RDB, not too shabby. Well, folks, I think you all would be fools if you didn't pick up this M193. If you're looking for something that meets that specification velocity-wise, mind you, as well as the primer and bullet are sealed, this is going to do it for you. This 2015 lot of PPU was right in line with some of the 2009 stuff that I found in my stash. As far as our accuracy goes, we had pretty darn good accuracy out of our 16 inch. The 22 inch was wavering a little bit, but I had been out here all day and it could just be that that extra velocity that we're seeing is causing our group sizes to open up a little bit. Out of the 160 rounds that we fired, I didn't have any pierced or popped primers, cracked necks, separated rims, or any other issues of that kind. I did note a little more muzzle flash on these loads when firing from some of our muzzle brakes. With all that being said, it's time for me to get the heck out of here. But at the end of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who helped make these possible because there's a lot that goes into them. Number one is my family. They're out here all the time helping me take care of this property and clean up my father's estate. Any time that I can spend with them is greatly appreciated. Number two are my Patreon, Subscribestar, and YouTube channel memberships. I have a campsite in the description below. There are varying discount codes or affiliate tracking links to like Palmetto State Armory, Brownells, RMA, et cetera, et cetera in there. And they earn me a sales commission when I make a sale off one of those links. And what I do with that is I put it right back in the channel. I purchased that ammunition from SG Ammo at a discount so that I could give you guys a review on it. Number three is Sam at SG Ammo. He has been a large support of the channel over the years having all kinds of different ammunition for me to review when you guys have questions. And of course, number four is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.